Legend of Luca is a VR dungeon crawler in the style of The Binding of Isaac. The developer is actively listening to feedback and releasing updates, which is good, because right now this game needs more work to be worth the asking price. In A Legend of Luca, you explore room after room, collecting loot and upgrades, and fighting minions and bosses. If your character dies, you start over again with a new random dungeon layout. There's a handful of different enemy types, each with a defined attack pattern. A couple of them are fun to fight, the rest not so much. Often you'll stand in one spot and just lob some magic at them and that'll be that. Occasionally you'll dodge some projectiles and teleport around, upon which they will instantly adjust their aim, putting you at a disadvantage while you reorient yourself. There are many upgrades and modifiers that you can come across during each run, affecting your playthrough in various interesting ways. And with the gold you collect, you can visit a merchant and buy bombs or health. Some rooms also allow you to spend some gold and spin dice for random loot or upgrades. Each dungeon floor ends with a boss room. The general dullness of the combat is amplified here. Uh, faced with an oversized creature in a tiny room, your only viable tactic is to teleport from corner to corner, while hitting it with everything you've got. Some of the bosses are so large that you pretty much have to teleport constantly, and if that sounds exciting, it's really not. After defeating a boss, you acquire one new weapon of virtue before ascending to the next floor. Uh, these weapons are introduced every single time, with a long and poetic passage being read aloud to you. Justicia, the staff of justice. The grove of justice has been torn apart. The heartwood of her tree you're cursed to find. Reflection beats in every just man's heart. Death's haunting whisper, always close behind. The same happens when you start the game. I appreciate the effort of writing and delivering these lines, but it does get old pretty quick. After all, roguelikes are built on repetition, so these long, eloquent phrases lose their charm when they're imposed on you in every run. Claim your freedom. Let's come back to the weapons. They all have a magical charge that gives them extra power as long as there's enough of it. That's a good mechanic. And I like the staffs, especially the ones that let you lob magic over walls and around corners. And the lightning sword, that's pretty cool too. But two of the weapons frustrate me, the bow and the throwing axe. When you hear bow and throwing axe in a Vive game, you expect to use the motion controllers appropriately, drawing the bow and aiming and letting loose, and with the axe throwing it as a physics object. Instead, the bow functions more like a magic staff, a rigid object that you hold and fire and a little homing bolt shoots out. I didn't get any footage of the axe, but the way you throw it is you just click the trigger and it shoots out in a straight line. No momentum needed, and you don't need to swing your arm and throw. If I had to sum up what frustrates me about this game, I would point to these two weapons. Now, if it sounds like I hated this game, I, I don't. There's definitely potential there, and it's clear that proper work has gone into it. You only need to look at the upgrade system to see that. But I do think it needs improvement in order to offer value that matches its price. A higher variety of enemies, better sound design, more engaging weapons, and perhaps dedicated boss arenas. All of these would go a long way in improving it. 
Legend of Luca is available on Steam for $20 and runs on the HTC Vive with motion controls, standing or room scale. And that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. I am new at making videos and I'll be producing many more soon. My name is Basim and I thank you for your time.